Welcome back to the channel everyone, Crypto Tech over here coming back with a Bitcoin cryptocurrency video for you today. We're going to be taking a look at a few different articles here on the Bitcoin charts and see what's going on inside of the crypto space today. Uh, and then we're going to be taking a look at the charts, keep it kind of uh, quick and easy, short and simple little uh, video for us today here. Uh, and let's go over to Forbes, uh, Bitcoin. This could be a very big week for Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ripples, XRP, Litecoin, and Chainlink. So we'll take a look at a few of these altcoins and go over today's charts. If that sounds interesting, folks, go ahead and stick around and let's get started. All right, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that we all can be updated every single cryptocurrency video that we make on this channel and every single time that we post to as well. Uh, so I look forward to uh, seeing you back here once again. And let's see, Forbes today is talking about a few different altcoins that could be uh, having a nice little move. Bitcoin after charging into December has hit something of a brick wall, stopping just short fresh territory of 20,000 per Bitcoin. Uh, the price, uh, the Bitcoin price has added an impressive 160% since January, helping small cryptocurrencies, Ethereum, Ripple, XRP, uh, Ripple's XRP, Litecoin, and Chainlink making triple digit gains th throughout the year. Now with traders gearing up for so-called Santa rally in the last week before Christmas, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ripple's XRP, Litecoin, and Chainlink investors are hoping holiday season cheer will help them finish the year on a high <clears throat> since 1970. Okay, so obviously we're seeing a little bit more bullish news as of right now uh, for a few of these coins. And we're going to take a look at the charts, see what they might be telling us, uh, see if maybe just Bitcoin might be the only uh, asset to be moving or if some of these altcoins might be wanting to move too as well. And let's take a look over here. Uh, Bitcoin pushes past 19.2K, Ether at 3% uh, of BTC price. Uh, Bitcoin trading around 19196 uh, gaining 0.35% over the previous 24 hours, Bitcoin 24 hour range, uh, BTC near 10 hour moving average, but above the 550 hour uh, on the hourly chart, a flat to bullish signal for market technicians. Interesting. So they're, they're saying that it could be a little flat as of right now. The Bitcoin price reversed course over the weekend from a downside to an upward trend that began Saturday. The weekend Bitcoin demonstrated a V-shaped reversal after the appearance of such figure. The growth usually continues. Uh, blah blah blah. Okay, over the past 24 hours, the price high is 19,323. Currently, Bitcoin is sitting right at about 19,400. So we are still kind of pushing up. Pr trying to break through 19,500 is going to be our toughest uh, break, and then obviously 20k from there. So let's go ahead and move on over into the charts. I guess here we have some trading volume and uh, some exchanges. Kraken, it looks to be like a nice, uh, and so, uh, so does Coinbase obviously uh, with the high volume on those exchanges there too as well. Um, you have some leverage exchanges here such as BitMEX uh, talking about some of the uh, longs and shorts I'm assuming. So obviously you have some people that are short as of, well that was back in August of 20. Uh, 20 so it does look like uh, there has been fewer liquidation per derivative markets are also helping Bitcoin stay steadier so obviously I guess uh, from people moving off of BitMEX uh, it's helping price stay a little bit more steady interesting stuff uh, okay and then we'll go over into the charts Ether at 3% of Bitcoin's price but yeah let's just jump over to the charts and see what's going on over here so boom we're in the charts. We're looking at Bitcoin here on the 15 minute time frame. looking at a little bit of a lower time frame, uh, just because I was checking out this big sell off that we had here. It does look like we've already started to recover just a tad bit, starting to push our way back up above into the $19,500 area or so. And let's keep zooming out here, looking at the 90 minute time frame. We are seeing a nice green dot here, probably waiting for a little bit of a bounce above this region, um, you know, right at about 19,432. If we get a close above that, um, then I'm going to probably remain a little bit more bullish on Bitcoin. Uh, let's see about the two hour time frame. Uh, two hour time frame also seeing a nice little green dot here too as well. Money flow still headed in that upward trajectory there for the most part. Four hour time frame. Let's see what's happening here. Money flow is looking a little thin. Um, I'd be a little cautious on some of these mid time frames here. Uh, but it does look like Bitcoin could be maybe ready to roll over. We could see a little bit of a hump and then starting to move back to the upside. 
uh, 10 hour time frame. Uh, let's see, our 21 EMA is still sitting right at about 18,800. So if we are to dip uh, a little bit lower, I want us to find support uh, on this 21 EMA here, probably on the 10 hour. If we kind of zoom back in and see where we've been holding support, our four hours been holding nice support on the 21 EMA and so is our two hour. Our two hours had a nice little bounce here. And as you can see, we've set this trend line here on our two hour um, to break above and close above 19,400. Um, so that's what we're probably looking for, looking at the 12 hour time frame. Uh, 12 hour time frame, money flow is still looking uh, pretty nicely in the green here for the most part. Taking a look at the daily, let's see what we got here. Taking a look at the daily, daily still looks pretty good too for the most part. Today two has our green dot that has is about to confirm it looks like. No sign of a green dot on the three day just yet. But as of right now, that still looks pretty relatively good for Bitcoin. Um, and we'll have to see if we want to continue uh, following up past and closing above the $19,400 area. If we close above that, I'm looking for another big push to the upside, um, but we probably wanna see a close above this and then continuation to the upside. Taking a look at the dominance chart, the dominance chart has been looking really, really healthy for us too as well. Uh, so Bitcoin dominance obviously looking pretty, pretty good. We did have this nice sell off here after we kind of peaked out and then uh, now we're starting to see that recover inside of the dominance chart too as well. Taking a look at the two day chart, let's see what's going on here. Still looking for this push back up above to the 65% uh, area or so. Let's take a look at Ethereum and then we'll go into, I believe it was XRP and Litecoin if I'm not mistaken. Let's see what, uh, so that Ethereum, XRP, Litecoin and Chainlink, we'll take a look at those. All right, uh, let's take a look at XRP to USD, see what's going on here. <laughs> So uh, is this, yeah, XRP USD, okay, cool. So we did have this obvious push to the upside here with Ripple uh, over the past like couple of uh, weeks or so. Um, but if we take a look at the daily, we've already dipped below our 21 EMA. It does look like we're trying to find support on our two day with the 21 EMA, uh, but I'd be a little cautious here. This still looks like it still kind of wants to continue down, maybe finding support here at the 100 EMA or so. Taking a look at the 10 hour, let's see what's happening here. Even our 10 hour has dipped below the 100 EMA. Uh, Ripple definitely looks like it's got a little bit more selling pressure. Probably looking for around the 90 or 43 uh, cent area or so, possibly uh, 45 cents. If not, maybe a little bit lower than that. Uh, it does look like we are trying to find some consolidation back here uh, where we had our last little area of uh, confluence of support for us. So. <clears throat> Obviously, Ripple, uh, you know, had its flare uh, spark token airdrop, and um, you know we have no idea <laughs> when that airdrop is going to get released to us. But the snapshot was taking place already, and so now we're just kind of speculating and when that's going to happen and seeing uh, when Ripple could uh, maybe perform uh, towards the upside um, in the near future. It's uh, we'll have to probably wait. I probably want to wait to see a buy signal here on the daily. Uh, with our market guide indicator. And by the way, folks, we use the market uh, cipher by CryptoFace and we use the market guides buy and sell signal and alongside with the TI sequential by Tone Vase. We're starting to see this extended bear count here on the daily too, as well with the TI sequential uh, sell signal on the daily with Ripple and then market uh, and then <laughs> market cipher still showing a little bit of downwards potential here, um, especially on the 12 hour and such. Uh, seeing a red dot here that doesn't look too good for ripple. So let's take a look at Litecoin uh, Or actually let's go into ethereum really quick ethereum. Where are you at? What's going on here with ethereum? 12 hour time frame showing support above the 21 EMA that looks pretty good for ethereum for the most part the daily time frame uh, No sign of a sell signal on the daily yet. So this still looks really relatively good We are finding support above the 21 EMA still uh, Probably still looking for a push up back up above six hundred dollars or so um, I would imagine that that could occur pretty soon. Um, but we're probably going to see uh, Ether and Bitcoin take off first before any of the other altcoins. And last but not least, let's take a look at uh, Chainlink and Litecoin, and then we'll kind of go from there. Let's see if we can find them here. <laughs> uh, Litecoin, Litecoin, Mrs. Litecoin, where are you at? Mrs. Litecoin, Litecoin. Well, let's look, take a look at Chainlink really quick. Chainlink, what's going on here with the daily, ch daily time frame on Chainlink? We've already set a nice uh, resistance level above us, uh, sitting right at about $15 or so. Uh, we probably want to see a pushback above there if we want to stay bullish. We did break below this purple uh, 
trend line down here though doesn't look uh, too hot for us as of right now uh, but let's keep a optimistic view kind of zoom in here see what's happening uh, you know money flow still looking a little thin looks like it's wanting to move to the downside here too as well taking a look at the eight hours still looks like it's kind of rounding off here with the money flow as well uh, let's take a look at the two-day chart two-day chart also uh, ready to clip down into that red money flow there so I'd be a little cautious of Chainlink. Our three-day still looks relatively good. We haven't dipped below our 21 EMA just yet, um, but you can see here that once we do, we, we drastically fall off off of our 21 EMA if we dip below it. Um, you know, I would still probably just wait until we uh, find a little bit of a breakout here, um, but more or less, it looks like a consolidation range for uh, Chainlink, and we'll probably be setting in some more triangles here, uh, you know, from from this bottom pattern here um, to the top pattern up above here. And then you can just probably play a, a breakout trade if you wanted to from there. Uh, so let's take a look at Litecoin. Where are you Litecoin? LTC, LTC, where are you? We're gonna find you here in a second. <laughs> I wonder why, I, there LTC, I'm gonna change this to, Litecoin's more of a blue crypto anyways, so. <laughs> Taking a look at Litecoin here, let's take a look on the daily time frame, see what's happening here. Money flow kind of rounding off here on the daily. Litecoin hasn't been really doing too much, honestly. Uh, I was kind of expecting more of a push past $100 or so, but we didn't quite get there. We got it to about $95, um, and now we're just kind of settling as of right now. Uh, so our three days still holding support above our 21 EMA as well too. Um, could possibly get a, a nice little green dot push back to the upside, um, just like Ethereum. Uh, obviously, you know, there's probably a little bit more liquidity in Litecoin than some of these other altcoins as of right now. Uh, then we pro probably could see a nice little push to the upside with Litecoin uh, when Bitcoin and Ethereum decide to take off too as well. Uh, 21 or two day is also holding support above the 21 EMA, uh, maybe expecting a little bit of a green dot here. Um, we are getting that green dot there on the daily too as well. Um, but yeah, I'd probably want to still see uh, a push passed up above maybe uh, $85 or so, um, or possibly past the $95 area and maybe push above $100. So things are looking pretty good here for Litecoin, not not too shabby, not too shabby, but um, you know we're probably gonna have to see a little bit more of a bullish push uh, for Litecoin uh, to, to maybe um, be a little bit more optimistic about it. But these green dots here could be ready to form here on the one day or on the two day and three day. And if that's to occur, then we'll probably see a nice push for Litecoin going into that $90 area or so. All right, folks, that's going to do it for today's video. Keep it nice and um, simple for right now. Uh, but don't forget, we have our Patreon page if you're interested in joining us in there, learning a little bit more about how we trade these markets, uh, learning about all our confluences and why we make the decisions that we make. Uh, when we trade these markets or when we get in and out of coins or what coins and altcoins we're looking into for the long term and how we're dollar cost averaging inside of this market, then I highly suggest that you join us on our Patreon page. We also have our beginner course to cryptocurrency too as well. If you want to check that out, links in the description box below. Uh, any, any of those links in the description box, you're helping support the channel, but you can always just leave a thumbs up and that helps support the channel too. So with that being said, folks, I'll see you on the next one. CTO signing out. Peace.